Good evening. He killed three people in three crashes, but serial drink driver Kevin David Barron is free in WA tonight. The 54-year-old was released from prison this morning, prompting a warning from the family of one victim. They want us to look out for him because they believe he'll get behind the wheel again. Serial drink driver Kevin David Barron has taken the lives of three men in three separate crashes. Stints in jail have never deterred him. Driving bans have never stopped him. The only way that the WA public is safe from someone like Kevin Barron is with him behind bars. Today, Barron left prison for the third time, having served his seven and a half year sentence for driving drunk and killing Daniel Donnelly's father just before Christmas in 2007. He was doing the right thing that night by walking home after having a few drinks. And it's just, you know, it's kind of that tragic irony that he, he lost his life and the man who did the wrong thing survived and will be spending this Christmas with his family. The police minister says Barron should have been jailed for longer for the crime that carries a maximum sentence of 20 years. This sentence is not consistent with community expectations. He could have been put away for 20 years and he wasn't. To me, as a dad with young kids, people like that on the road just frighten the hell out of me. Kevin Barron's driving record was already appalling when he killed John Donnelly. Jailed in 1983 for causing a crash that killed his brother, he killed his mate after a night of drinking 13 years later. He was jailed again in 2009 and is now disqualified from driving for life. Really anyone could be one of his victims because he's shown in the past that like, he has no regard for what he's done before and you know we have no faith that yeah, he'll abide by his, his driving ban. Police are going to be watching him very carefully. The police minister is now seriously considering tougher laws, including mandatory minimum jail terms. At the moment, drunk drivers who kill are being sentenced on average to just three and a half years out of a possible 20. If I find that those sentences are inconsistent with community expectations, which I think they will be, I'll be changing it. The Attorney General has also flagged extending two year strict supervision orders to dangerous drivers like Kevin Barron. It's something that I'll turn my mind to over the next few days and see if there are any uh, sensible ways that we can uh, have better control over those who seem to want to disregard other people's safety. The laws, which involve GPS tracking, are currently used for dangerous sex offenders. They're also set to cover violent criminals under legislation currently before Parliament. Josh Yerger, Nine News.